are Nigerians attorney generals in cahoots with criminals. Over the years, we've all read about individuals who were found guilty of stealing large sums of money or young boys found guilty of stealing money from abroad. A few weeks later, they've been bailed and nothing more is heard of their, of their cases. Yet petty criminals are arrested and jailed for many years, some without trials. Is it because crimes pays more nowadays in Nigeria? And the more you steal, the more you're likely to, to stay out of jail because you can basically buy your way out of trouble. Just take the case a few weeks ago regarding three former civil servants who were convicted of stealing 450 million naira. The prosecutor felt the best punishment for them would be if a four-year jail term or an option to pay a fine of 2 million naira. Yes, you heard correctly, 2 million naira only. They stole over 450 million from the Nigerian people and our prosecutors, the people who are meant to defend and look after our interests, thought the best punishment for them would be to pay a fine of 2 million naira. To me, this is a massive miscarriage of justice and a, and a slap in the face of Nigerians and the investigators who had worked hard to bring these thieves to court. But why would the government or the attorney generals whose office is responsible to jail these criminals do such a thing? Well, Nigeria is called plea bargaining. This simply means there's an agreement between the prosecutor and the defendant where the defendant pleads guilty to a lesser offence in exchange for some concession by the prosecutor and a dismissal of any other cases or charge. I should mention the plea bargaining is under the, the power of the Office of the Attorney General, under the rules and regulation of, of the Nigerian law. However, the condition regarding plea bargaining under the EFCC Act stated that, notwithstanding anything in, the, in this law or any other law, the Attorney General of the state shall have the power to consider and accept a plea bargain from a person charged with any offence where the Attorney General is of the view that the acceptance of such a plea bargain is in the public interest, the interest of justice and the need to prevent abuse of legal process. With this description, one could say that any previous cases that had been settled with a plea bargain and that of the stolen 450 million naira. The only interest the Attorney General of Nigeria have shown is perhaps for themselves and not the public interest at all. I hope these uh, Attorney uh, Generals understand the harm they have caused society by giving such judgments because they are basically telling Nigerians that crime pays as long as you're ready to share your looted monies. Fellas? Crime pays in Nigeria. Is it ought to be so? <laughs> <laughs> It is. It's, it's actually funny when you see uh, the happenings and the reality in time. And uh, I think what we should also be looking at is who is to be blamed. We see the, the reality in play now. And there is need for us to wake up as a citizen of the country to actually know, be self-aware of what is happening so that we know how to um, deal with it. So the last of the play bargain, when you look at it, how long has it been in existence? Who plays, who voted it in, and what is the advantage and the disadvantages? We are obviously seeing the disadvantage of the play bargain. And then how do we resolve it? What's the next stage? Should well, be our concern. To, um, to answer you, play bargain started um, when um, independence settings uh, came into Nigeria. Some people actually fought against it because they understand the Nigerian mentality that we were too young to understand and to handle plea bargaining. And in this, um, in my, in my write-up, we can, we can see how the plea bargaining actually favors the, the thieves, the criminal, and the attorney general office because it doesn't, it doesn't please uh, um, the public. Basically, what they're, they're basically telling us is like, you can steal and get away with it as long as you share some of the money with us. And there's, it's not just about these um, four civil servants. What, of the boy, what about the boys um, doing the funny business of um, Yahoo Yahoo abroad? They steal money, they bring it to this country. They know that they, they've known through history, through time, through th this plea bargain, that 
the money they've stolen, if they're, if they're ready to do deals with the attorney generals or so, they will let them go, which is sending a wrong image to, to our people, to our youth. But if, let me stretch it further. It's not only in that form. I think you can somehow liken it to what is happening in uh, the river states, uh, illegal oil bunkering. Yes, yeah. it, it applies to that uh, as well. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Sorry, illegal refinery, not oil, oil bunkering is yes. illegal. So illegal refinery. Yes. So the same thing. Um, this as NCDC to protect the pipelines, right? Yes. And some of these officials, some of the members or officials of these uh, law enforcement agencies are found wanting. They allow these people to go and steal, and uh, sabotage, and bunker, yeah. and then they collect their own. Yeah. They collect their own. It's it's, so, it's destroying uh, us because it's, before it's plea, plea bargain came into the Nigerian legal thing. system, what the Ni Nigerian government used to do, if you're convicted of um, of being a thief in any way, shape, or form, everything is confiscated from you. You're now back to zero and everything. Which even, if, even if you worked for it legitimately before, yes. uh, before you got into the mess of uh, yes. the financial scandal, they collect everything. They collect everything and, and teaches you a lesson. Uh, but now the lesson that um, the legal system is telling Nigerians is, hey, you can, it's okay to steal. As long as you're, you're ready to give us some back, so we don't the, mind. We the liability. <laughs> Tommy, when I heard of that deal before, like, oh, okay, bring some back, you are pardoned. You know, a thief is a thief. Somebody yeah. will steal. I think some time ago in Lagos, if it was during lockdown, if I'm not mistaken, or there was a boy that was born to death. I don't know if you remember. What did he steal, Gary? Is this some couple where you Petty had to will go to He's a child. Yeah. Like and guess what? He's from jungle his mother. Was yes, jungle justice. A very poor. If somebody is steals food, it's not an indication that the person is hungry. Yeah. So, and yet we glorify these same thieves so that I call themselves government. Exactly. And that now brings us back to the uh, insecurity issue and the business interoperability that we've been discussing over time. You know, when we know that there are loopholes, especially uh, promoted by government. And you see uh, people trying to set an example, living by the example of what they can see. And what does that translate to? We are going to be exposed to a lot of insecurity in the country and as against us being trying to be mutual to ourselves. Now, I know if I still, if I do yao yao, probably I smart play another person in the name of love. I steal money. I have a government uh, policy or a, a kind of a law that can, I, I can hide under. Yes. And I will get away with it. You still it. keep the money you've stolen. Because I, I will keep the money I stole, right? So far, I can do the play bargain game. Yeah. So <laughs> if I can do that, then I can go to any length to, 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 do that. <laughs> to be a criminal, basically. And before you know it, you see people doing rituals just to like say, okay, let me get this, let me protect myself in a fetish way. Mm -hmm. So far, I'm going to get a play bargain. To make it, uh, you know, sometimes they call it uh, cleaning the money. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? You are the body. So you, you just clean the money due to a lot of so a lot of things actually. I uh, mean, the bi the biggest yeah, one for me. Course. Sorry to interrupt you. Yes, the yes. biggest one for me is like the message that they're sending the police and everything, because the police will work hard. They know who these criminals are. They will work hard to um to have them arrested and charge them to court. And they'll now see the same criminals a few weeks later driving a big car and everything <laughs> and living their life. And the police, the police will probably think, oh, okay, if I'm going to do this work, let me, instead of these lawyers that I am working for, to let them go, let me do a deal with them. Okay. I'll have them arrested. I'll say to you, my brother, we know you're a thief. You know, we know you're yahoo, yahoo. You know you're doing oil bunkering or so. We know you're not meant to have this money. You too, you know it. Instead of me charging you to court or so, I'll forget it. Give me some of my own money. Because, they, because the police and the investigator have seen what could happen if they let the case go to, um, uh, to court. A, um, a prosecutor, an attorney general, will now do a deal with them. And they're probably thinking, instead of um, this criminal giving them their money, I want the money, which affects society. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's basically yeah. saying crime pays. Yes, right. saying that they are that, that, that is the message the, yeah, exactly. it's good yes. to be a smart, devious, devilishly smart, deviously smart. It's good to cheat the system because it pays you. 
That's exactly what the government should do. Yes. They should, I think the, what I think, the, to solve this problem, I think the mm -hmm. government should have a strict policy against corruption in all forms of it. And on the other hand, they should encourage people with the right values. People with the right, right values should be encouraged and awarded. Yes. You I know, totally what agree happens, with I said this on this show some time ago, what happens to a national award like MON, ON, and all those things? You just give it to any Tom Dick or Harry. Yes, I know there are some respectable Nigerians that are having those things. They deserve it. But there are some other persons I think are not deserving it. Yeah. So, totally so we should I rebrand think, our. Exactly. Our just just to support what you said, I think the government should look into uh, policies that are more strict to punish who. Who, who, who are guilty of such Confiscate offenses. Confiscate properties if possible. Uh, yes, it, it has no, to be no because people. as it's happening at the high level for people who steal a lot, you can see it happening at the micro level as well where you see somebody stealing phone and is a phone of probably 50,000 naira and say, yes, I, I stole this phone, confess, and you take them to court and what you see is pay a fine of 10,000 and the case is gone. <laughs> and you also see... It doesn't make sense. Exactly. Yeah, That's sense. a bargain. And you also see another uh, prosecution where somebody still an N and is just left in prison without uh, without any... Any, any, any trials or something. Because, because there is no um, bargain. There is nothing to, yeah. to actually yeah, treat. Yeah, so we are going to try our best to hold the government accountable whatever we do, whatever they do for us. And the, the, and the policies that are being made at the same time, we citizens too, we should ensure we do the right thing, enforcing positive values in the society. We thank you for your attention while the program lasted. We hoped our conversations resonated with you and that, in some small way, encourage you to contribute to your immediate environment. Little drops of water they see makes a mighty ocean. Don't forget, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms, on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, and on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Join us next week, same time on Stain Station. Let's continue to keep advocating for a better society. See you next time.